Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Piyush Srivastava, Founder and Managing Director at AirX Technologies Limited. Piyush, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you so much, Laura, for having me here. I'm really excited to be part of this show. Thank you. We are glad to have you. Well, let, let's get started. Uh, for those who already don't know about AirX Technologies, could you tell our viewers about the company? Sure, thank you. Uh, AirX is a UK-based organization. We uh, started back in 2017. So I founded the company uh, with a view of um, solving the gaps or, or the problems of the telecommunication industry uh, where um, the last mile is, is the key problem. This is the challenge for all the key global telecommunication organizations. So people who got really good network uh, do struggle during the supply chain or accessing the local last mile network from the local ISPs. So the company is really founded on the network. So the DNA of the business is really the network services. Uh, myself, uh, you know, comes from the background of telecommunication. We got a team uh, in, in UK, in India, in, uh, in Prague. Operations uh, sits back in India and, and uh, Prague, I would say, in Czech Republic, and management and the sales is, is in UK. So AirX is really about providing the connectivity services uh, globally. Um, with more than 500 partners, we can access to over 180 countries around the world. We, we keep on growing our uh, supply chain. Um, product and services are pretty simple and straight. We do not own an and operate any infrastructure of our own. So we, we are pretty virtual uh, in, in this age of virtual era. Uh, we, we need to keep things simple and uh, our services are around layer three to layer two and layer one services from time to time. Uh, the connectivity to the data centers, to the enterprise sites, to um, any of the remote locations via fixed line or wireless services. So product range are pretty much DIA broadband, uh, 3G, 4G, uh, layer two ethernet services, and that's pretty standard in the industry. The, 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 the key important thing of the AirX is really to help business connect uh, to their enterprises with any of the mediums where they are struggling. Um, we, as an organization, uh, when I started the business back in 2017, found an interesting area where we can also be seen as a enabler of the connectivity and IT services with the help of uh, NICO um, when I started the business. Uh, we found that's a really good area where we can be um, of the IT with the connectivity. And uh, David, Mr. David Patek, who has uh, started the business back 2007, I would say it's been almost 10, 13 years. Um, um, and that's really his, 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 his key area is to develop IT services, which was uh, uh, focused around equipment services, uh, SD-WAN, getting engineers on site, field engineers maintenance. And in 2018, we decided to join, you know, to marry each other, to join the forces together to help and support our customers, not just around the connectivity, but also to be served, you know, as a uh, enabler of the SD-WAN or a managed service provider to these telecommunication organizations. So that's really about AirX, and uh, we are excited to be part of the ITW and the GSA TV on today. Tremendous growth and reach uh, demonstrated by AirX already. So could you tell us what sets AirX apart from others in the industry? So uh, this is the question that has been asked uh, by many of the companies that we work with. And that's a very initial question. Um, we are very easy to work with. So I would say two simple things about AirX, how we, uh, we see ourselves different than other competitions out there in the market. One is our focused customers or let's say partners are really telecommunication organizations. Uh, people who own the infrastructure, uh, people who are the managed service provider, SD-WAN companies. We are not the company for the enterprise. So we do not deal into uh, uh, enterprise segment. Our really focused market is towards the channels, the partners that we work with. And that's really differentiate ourselves to avoid that conflict of interest with many of the organizations which uh, all the time has started up uh, approaching you know, enterprises, though you know, working with the same 
uh, companies uh, or, or the telecom partners who got the same customers. So we, we try to avoid that in this market where you know, people do trust us. Second, uh, I would say is the part of the NECO, which brings a lot of capability in-house for us where we can bring not just, as I said, the connectivity part, but also the ICT services. So that's really, uh, I see a key differentiator uh, within our business to expand any regional provider to go global, not just with connectivity, but also with the, the xt solutions. So. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, do you have any recent news or updates that you can share with our viewers at this year's ITW virtual event? In, indeed, we just uh, announced uh, on the day one about um, a kind of a promotion, but I won't say it's a promotion, but uh, it, it's a joint um, partnership to help uh, businesses with the current coronavirus or COVID-19 impact where businesses are struggling to get a you know a customer site up and running and and uh, and customers are struggling with the, the losses because of the current situation as well so we have launched a news uh, to offer a three months 4g service uh, in europe and us for free uh, without any charges to our, our customers who got services fixed line services with us and uh, who are ready to, you know, to launch their sites uh, within seven or 10 days time. So we can really deploy these solutions across Europe and U US for free 90 days. And uh, they just can relax upon, you know, the, the, the fixed line services while this lockdown situation gets over. So that's really exciting news that, you know, we are bringing up. Very exciting. So where can our viewers go to learn more about that and, and all about Airx? So we are pretty much uh, uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, we are, you know, quite uh, being seen on LinkedIn. People can, you know, go on our website as well. We have uh, our website, edxtechnologies.com. Uh, we are also time to time attending uh, events like ITW Capacity uh, Land Summit. So we are, you know, really focused into attending these telecommunication, you know, industries uh, conferences and. Uh, we, we, are, we are there on the exhibitor list as well, so people can find us very easily. And myself and my colleagues are always been there. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Piyush, for joining us. It was so great to get to know you and, and learning more about AirX. Um, so thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you so much, Laura, for having me here. It's been really nice talking to you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.